Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So today I am back and I'm going to be sharing the top fragrance discoveries for 2022. So these are the fragrances that I discovered this year that I'm obsessed with and just let you guys know why I love them and all of that good stuff. Everything will be listed down below in the description box with links if you guys want to shop and all that good stuff. So check it out there. I'm going to keep this super sweet and short. We got lots of content coming this month. I'm making up for the two weeks that I didn't post because I was super sick. So look out for a bunch of content and I will be doing giveaways starting Monday. So there will be a giveaway almost every day. So don't forget to subscribe, turn your post notifications on and let's go ahead and jump into this. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a fragrance that I've been wanting to add to my collection for the longest time. Like a couple of months back, I sampled this and I was like, this is gorgeous. It is me. And that is Le Labo's Another 13. It's a very popular scent from Le Labo along with Santal 33. But this one is so special. I just, I, I try to describe it and I really can't. For me, it's more like a skin scent. It just makes you smell good. Like people do not know what the scent is. They're always like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. Or, oh my God, you smell so good. And it's this scent over here. It's to me more of like a very spicy, woody, musky scent. It clings onto your skin so well, lasts forever on me. This is a new bottle, so I'm just starting to wear it, but I did have a sample and I finished it up and I love, love, love this. If you love musky scents that are more like skin scents, you're gonna absolutely love this one. If you are on a budget, I absolutely recommend you checking out Juliet Has a Gun, Not A Perfume and Not A Perfume super dose. They're very similar to this scent over here. It smells really, really good. And for some reason, I get a ton of compliments when I wear this fragrance. It's it's a fragrance that is like, it's not just like floral. It's not super woody, sweet. It's very unisex. So anyone can pull this off, but it just smells, it makes you smell spectacular. It's really not just about the fragrance. It's about you and how people just kind of grab gravitate towards you and are like, what are you wearing? Because this is incredible. It's Le Labo Another 13. It's a pretty penny, but I think it's worth all the money and um, I can't wait to wear it more and more. One that when I first got it, I was like, ooh, I don't think I can do this fragrance. I don't think people describe this correctly, but when I actually wore it correctly, the way that for me works, I fell in love with it. And the reaction from people just made me love it even more and more because I'm the kind of girl, I love a good compliment on my fragrances. Like I love when someone says, whoa, you smell good, what is that? So this is Oud Satin Mood from MFK. This fragrance is luxurious. It smells expensive, exquisite, unique, intoxicating. It's a fragrance that will stop people literally stop people and they'll be like, what, where's that smell coming from? It leaves this gorgeous, large scent bubble wherever you are. Now with this fragrance, for me personally, less is more. I do max two sprays and I always do it right on my neck, like at the back of my neck. And something about spraying it that way just gives me the most like beautiful wear out of this fragrance. Like I've sprayed it like on my hands, on my clothes, and it was just too much for me. It was too overwhelming, too heavy, um, too obnoxious. But when I spray it just at the back of my neck, two sprays, ooh, 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 ooh. That dry down, it's silky, it's smooth, it's sweet. It just is gorgeous. Now, this is definitely an oudy scent. You will get the oud in the opening. For me, I definitely get it. It's quite heavy. In the dry down, this is like a jammy rose 
woody scent. It is sensual. It's sexy. Very much date night, evening kind of wear. You have an event. Please wear this. If you are a man, I feel like men can pull this off any time of the day. Like this can be a signature scent on a man. I want to say it is unisex. It is. But on me, I definitely get the sweet tones of this fragrance. But when my husband wears it, it just smells handsome. It smells like a put together man. He knows what he wants and he's out to get it. That's what this smells like. And on me, it's like sophistication with evening wear. If you've never tried it out, sample it. But let me, let me say this. Let me stress this. Less is more. Next fragrance that I'm going to talk about has been out for quite a little while. I've recently got it, got it during the Sephora savings event. And this is Kaoli's Love Fest. I'm so happy that I discovered this fragrance this year and I totally get the hype. I understand why people love it. It's a beautiful, warm cherry scent. There's notes of burning cherry, raspberry, praline, Paulo Santu, Goyak Wood, and Patchouli. And it says it right here on the back. And I think they did such an incredible job. It definitely reminds me of Tom Ford Lost Cherry, but this one has more of a juicy take. Like it's a little bit more bright and juicy. And I just think it's beautiful. It's very sexy and alluring. It's slightly powdery on me, like very, very little of powderiness, but it's not overly sweet. It does have a little bit of this intensity to it, which I really love. And I think it makes a gorgeous date night scent. I have layered this with Vanilla 28 and it layers beautifully. And I know that a couple of you guys recommended I layer this with the new um, Vanilla Royale fragrance, which I'm going to do. But on its own, I really love it. And I'm enjoying this bottle. Like the color is super beautiful and it matches the fragrance so well. And this one lasts a pretty decent amount on me. It's not beast mode, but like for my date nights, it's enough. And I really like spray it on me. And mm, it has like this intoxicating take. And I love, love that. Ooh, the atomizers. Mm, on the Cali fragrances are beautiful. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So glad that I have it in my collection. I love a ton of the Kaoli fragrances, to be honest, like 90% of them are my favorite fragrances because they're just so wearable yet super unique. Like they're not too obnoxious. They're not too crazy. You could understand them. They're not overly complex, but I mean, Vanilla Royale, that one is on another level. That's niche quality right here. But for the most part, their fragrances are so easy to grab and wear. You feel the vibe, you smell the vibe, and you know when you're gonna wear this. And this for me is more date night for sure. So I have discovered this year that I am a rose girl. <laughs> Who would have thought? I thought I was true gourmand lover, but I definitely am obsessed with my florals. I think as I get older, I'm going towards the floral side of fragrances. And I think they just smell beautiful and elegant for the most part and there's so many different variations of rose they can be in rose and oud they can be a very citrusy rose a musky rose so there's so many variations and i love them all a rose that i am obsessed with is called radical rose and this is from matier premier this fragrance is beautiful i don't think have i spoken about this on my channel Maybe once, I don't remember, but it's a newer one to my collection. Love the bottle, very minimalistic, easy to put on the vanity and it looks gorgeous, um, but very high quality. This rose to me is a more of a, like a jammy rose. It does have that white floral vibe when you smell this one. It's a little bit more... I want to say on the mature side, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, it's not too um, uptight. I can wear this easily during the day or in the evening and it wears beautifully. Oh, it's just so like addictive. It's one of those jammy, addictive rose scents. Again, you have to kind of like the white floral vibe because I definitely get that in the opening. And... Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a bouquet of flowers. It's a bouquet of flowers in a bottle. Um, it's kind of sweet also in the dry down. 
it's a unique rose. It's up there with the Lena for me. For me, it really is. And I think it's just a beautiful rose scent that lasts really well on the skin that is a little bit more on the mature side. Um, but highly recommend you guys getting a sample at least because it is gorgeous. If you love your jammy rose, I feel like you might really enjoy this one. And this is a brand that I have sampled quite a few fragrances from and the quality is okay up there really really up there so the next one that i'm going to talk about is actually an oil that i was introduced to this year it is from nest it's called the madagascar vanilla this tiny little oil oh honey so beautiful if you love vanillas you absolutely need this in your life it layers so nicely with anything that you have in your collection but on its own the scent is incredible and it lasts it really does last I will slather this on my wrist on my neck sometimes a little bit on the bod and it just smells heavenly it smells delicious and it lasts so well on me mmm a little goes a long way to me it's like almost like a floral vanilla like when I smell this one it is just gorgeous it's not too deep and dark so you can definitely wear this during the day especially for the fall and winter time when it's kind of gloomy outside you want those warm scents this smells incredible okay you put this on let me tell you right now okay you get in the shower you scrub your body with a nice body scrub get all those dead skin cells off your body you get out of the shower get a moisturizer a body moisturizer that is unscented layer this with your body moisturizer get some of that moisturizer do a couple of drops of this oil and then slather this all over your body honey you will smell incredible. Or you can layer this with a fragrance and I'm telling you right now it will smell incredible nighttime Netflix and chill rub this you know you can rub this on your legs you know you, you, you we're grown folks over here you know what i'm saying this is from a brand called sniff they reached out to me a couple of months back and sent me a few of their fragrances this one stood out to me it's called sweet ash if you are a baccarat rouge 540 lover it's straight or the original get you this get you this the vibe is the same the vibe is the same the smell like the dna is very similar so if you don't want to splurge on baccarat rouge which is very expensive get sweet ash i promise you it has the same vibe i really do think so it's not like an identical let me spray it over here Oh, the opening reminds me. It has that kind of sweetness from Baccarat Rouge in the opening. But this one, I want to say it has a little bit more of a woody, woody dry down. Yeah, the opening is super duper similar. Get it, get it now. I believe this is quite affordable, if I'm not mistaken. Packaging, very simple. I mean, for the price point, don't expect to get this extravagant glass bottle. It's all about the juice. And this one, it gives me a little bit of that Baccarat Rouge vibe. So if you want the vibe, if you want that kind of DNA, get this one and it smells really good. Not as long lasting as Baccarat Rouge, but I'm glad I have it in my collection because sometimes I'll do two sprays of Baccarat Rouge and then put this one on top and I am good to go. Really like it. If you guys wanna see more uh, about this brand and the other fragrances that they sent to me, let me know in the comment section and I could definitely do a little video for you guys, but I highly recommend checking out Sniff. They did impress me. They have some scents in their collection that are pretty good. So the next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about, I honestly don't know if I discovered this this year or last year, but I'm just gonna mention it in case I discovered it this year. This is Oud for Greatness from an issue. This over here on a man, okay? I don't personally wear it. My husband wears this, is insanely sexy. Like this is a man, like a man, a handsome, sexy, sensual man. You know, the one that will stop you in your tracks when you're like, ooh, excuse me. Every time my husband puts this on, I always compliment the scent. Like I literally always know that he has on Oud for Greatness. And this fragrance, all of his clients, when he goes to meetings or um, estimates and stuff like that, will always compliment him on this one. They will literally ask, what 
is that smell. It just smells so luxurious, so expensive. So if your man isn't really into fragrances, but you want him to smell absolutely divine, just get this one. Christmas is right around the corner. Get him this. Add this to the gifting this year because it is so yummy. It's intense. It's bougie. It's woody. It's oody, but like in this like strong man way. There's a little bit of sweetness in here. It's very silky and well blended. I could go on and on and on. That is it for this video. I'm gonna end it here. I'll probably do a part two because there are a few fragrances that I have downstairs in my filming room that I wanna talk about. So look out for a part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your top three discoveries of 2022. I wanna know what are the ones that really got your attention. And if you're new, please subscribe. If you haven't already, like this video and I will see you all on the next one. Ciao.